Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool-Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. On today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about some of the recent transfer rumors in regards to Danny Almo, in regards to Nico Williams, in regards to Miguel Merino, all of Barcelona's transfer targets. And then as well, talking about Clement Longley and Sergio Roberto. And then lastly, we're going to be looking ahead towards Barcelona's preseason tour. Uh, but guys, before I get started on the video, Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Go over there and check me out. That way you guys can stay up to date with everything that I do on the channel. But guys, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, let's talk about Clement Longley because Clement Longley, he is still a Barcelona player, but we also say that they are interested in Clement Longley. Um, as you know, recently, uh, uh, Le Normand, he has deported to uh, Atletico Madrid. And so Raul also said that they are in the market for center backs and Clement Lolle has appeared as a potential option to replace him. But there is an obstacle and that is Clement Longley's high salary. Now, we obviously know that Clement Longley, for some reason, Bartomeu decided to give him an insane contract and it just makes our life so much more difficult in trying to get rid of him. Um, but they are, you know, keeping in contact um, Clement Longley and La Real. And, uh, you know, if a good offer does arrive for Clement Longley, he would analyze it. Uh, some other Saudi Arabian clubs, they are interested in Longley, but Clement Longley, he has said that he wants to stay in Europe. He views that as a priority. And so, you know, in these next couple of weeks, Clement Longley, he is going to be receiving offers, but, you know, he's gonna be analyzing that and say, hey, what is the best offer um, that I can accept. And you know, at the end of the day, he is going on the preseason tour, but it's not going to be likely that he's going to be staying as a Barcelona player. But if, if Real Sociedad, they are interested in you, you know, analyze the offer and potentially, you know, look to, towards, uh, accepting, uh, that deal. Uh, but talking about Sergio Roberto guys, talking about a player who is no longer a Barcelona player and, uh, who Fabrizio Romano said that, you know, Barcelona and Sergio Roberto, uh, they have completely broken ties. Uh, Ajax, they're currently interested in Sergio Roberto as a free agent. Sergio Roberto right now, he is analyzing other offers and everything like that. A lot of clubs, they have approached him. And uh, Sergio Roberto, he's looking at them saying, hey, you know, just like Clément Longley, which offer is the best for me? There's offers from the MLS, offers from Saudi, offers from Europe. And uh, it seems that Ajax, they are leading the race to sign Sergio Roberto. And um, you know, it seems Sergio Roberto time at Barcelona is over. And the only thing that I would like to see is, you know, sort of like a farewell for Sergio Roberto because he has been a good servant for the club for many, many years. Uh, that's something that I would have liked. And it's a little bit frustrating because, you know, if Sergio Roberto decided that this was his last season at the club, then he could have had a much more, you know, glowing exit from the club rather than just you know being basically kicked out the back door um but you no know, continuing talking about uh players talking about barcelona transfers uh where you have to talk about you know barcelona's transfer targets now and uh danny Olmo, what is the latest regarding his situation well personal personal terms are completely agreed between barcelona and danny Olmo. everything is agreed between the player and the club but barcelona right now they're set to send their second bid in to RB Leipzig as the first bid, it has been rejected. Now, Barcelona, in that first bid, they put 40 million euros fixed and then the rest, uh, sort of 20 million euros in variables, depending on Barcelona, if they win the Champions League, if they win La Liga, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, RB Leipzig, uh, they basically said, no, we want you know that 40 million uh, euro fixed fee to be closer to 50 and to be paid in a little bit larger sums because Barcelona in that first bid, they'll be pay paying over installments and not upfront like the Nico Williams deal. And uh, Barcelona, they're still structuring that deal. We don't know exactly how, how it's gonna be structured, but Barcelona, they're not gonna be paying everything upfront for Danny Olmo. And, um, and you, you guys know my thoughts on Daniel Olmo. We've talked about Daniel Olmo extensively on the channel. Daniel Olmo's a fantastic player, but a player who is a luxury, a player who I don't think that Barcelona need. And Barcelona, they have other priorities that they should be going and uh, positions that need to be reinforced rather than going after Daniel Olmo. But Barcelona, they seem to be obsessed with Daniel Olmo. Um, and, um, you know, they, it, it seems that they do want him. Uh, but now, guys, talking about Nico Williams, what's the latest in regards to Nico Williams? Well, I did say in the past that everything 
between um, Nico Williams and Barcelona, the entourage, his salary, his bonuses, everything. It's been agreed. All that we're waiting for is his signature. All that we're waiting for is the decision that the player is going to be making. And according to Marca, Nico Williams, he's already made the decision on where he's going to be playing next season. And he has informed those closest to him. Uh, the decision has been made. And uh, we're just waiting for, for that decision. Is he going to be staying at a club? Is he going to be going abroad? You know, uh, uh, in, you know other clubs in Europe? Or is he come, going to be coming to Barcelona? I think this is going to be much more of a timing thing. Um, because he currently is on vacation with Lamine, you know, Mao actually, funny enough, enjoying the, uh, the vacations. And, um, you know, we're just waiting on his decision. We're just waiting to see what he's going to be doing. Barcelona, they've already given guarantees on, you know, being registered in La Liga, uh, guarantees that Barcelona can be paying that release clause. And uh, as I said, we're just waiting on that, on that, here we go, on that final yes, on that signature uh, to complete the deal. Uh, but the last player that Barcelona, you know, they are interested in, is Miquel Merino, and uh, in regards to Miquel Merino, Barcelona, they're not currently, you know, um, focused heavily on signing Miquel Merino. Currently, Arsenal, they are leading the race to sign him, and, um, you know, Atletico Madrid, they're also in that race, but um, no, they're just like Barcelona. They're a little bit lower in the pecking order, but uh, Miquel Merino, he's not in a rush to say yes to anything. He's, you know, analyzing all the offers that he does have on the table, and then after, he's going to be making that call, but uh, Barcelona, you know, they're running out of time. Barcelona, they need to, to finish the deals in regards to Nico Williams, in regards to uh, Nico Williams, and um, as well as Miquel Merino, because Barcelona's midfield, they do need reinforcing, but um, we have to see if you know, Arsenal, they are going to step up that, um, that race and that intensity to sign the Spaniard. Uh, but now looking ahead towards the U.S. preseason tour, guys, this is the official squad list for Barcelona's preseason tour. Now, the players with the asterisk, those are the players who are currently on vacation uh, and they will be joining Barcelona, but they aren't going to be you know, traveling to Barcelona. They're going to be tra they're going to be traveling to the U.S. separately. And so the likes of Rafinha, the likes of Gundogan and Kunde will be joining Barcelona's squad in the U.S. And uh, looking at, uh, you know, the, uh, the overall squad, uh, you notice that there's a lot of youngsters, guys. You're, you're noticing a lot of youngsters, um, uh, roughly 17, actually. And uh, it's going to be impressive to see how these players perform. And I want to ask you guys, which players are you guys going to be keeping an eye on in preseason? You obviously want to like, you, you want to see the likes of Vitor Roque, for example, be given a chance in preseason. You want to see Marcasado. You want to see the Fernandez cousins. How, how do they do? Uh, Guille Fernandez, Tony Fernandez. And as well as Mark Bernal, who is uh, an emerging talent. You want to see these guys. And it's going to be an interesting preseason summer for them. Could we see a, another emerging La Masia gem pop up? And uh, talking about the preseason tour, guys, Deco, he will not be traveling with the squad uh, to the U.S. He's going to be staying in Barcelona for at least another week in order to resolve all the transfer deals in regards to Nico Williams, in regards to Danny Omo, and uh, also potentially some departures, including Clement Longley, Vito Roque, or even Rafinha, because Rafinha, he has received an offer from Saudi Arabia, but um, nothing has been confirmed in regards to that. But uh, a big summer for Deco because, um, you know, he has been under a lot of criticism for some of the signings that he's been made. And, uh, you know, we can't let the, the signing of Nico Williams slip. Uh, that is super, super important because if Barcelona they don't sign Nico Williams, then it's going to be a very, very tough season ahead for us. And, um, you know, looking at the, you know, squad for the U.S. preseason tour, it's something to be excited about, guys. That, that squad, it does have talent and... Um, Hopefully, we do see some very exciting performances from the youngsters. Uh, but guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. What do you guys make of everything that I discussed on today's video? Clement Lonley, Real Sociedad, interested uh, in the Frenchman. Ajax potentially signing Sergio Roberto as a free agent. With the latest on Danny Omo, Nico Williams, and Miquel Merino. And lastly, Barcelona. They're traveling to the U.S. as of right now uh, to begin their U.S. preseason tour. Well, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys.